for sure. All of the major energy companies find it very attractive. They're they're investing in it. Uh, the uh, all the transportation companies find it attractive. The major polluters want geoengineering. It's a, it's a, it doesn't work. That's okay. But they bought themselves time. It gives them an excuse for not doing anything for another decade or another 20 years. Okay, latest water test tested the rain. 13,100 micrograms per liter of aluminum in the rain in 2013. Normally, it should be zero. So 13,100 is pretty damn much, folks. It used to be zero. Then it was 100 in the 2000s. And then in, uh, since 2010, it's into the 1,000s on the latest 13,100. In the snow on Mount Shasta, pristine Mount Shasta, 61,000 feet. No, excuse me. 8,000 foot level, 61,000 micrograms per liter four times the amount that is found in the soil up there. Where the hell is this stuff coming from if it's not coming from the soil? Okay, pH of acid soils is 20 times more alkaline. The aluminum in the soil has doubled in the last 10 years. The rain normal was 5.6, it's 20 times more alkaline. Aluminum blocks essential nutrients. I am unable in my garden to restore normal pH and that's because nanoparticles are now in the circulatory systems of both plants and humans. So, welcome to the problem of climate change in the first place. Who geoengineered us into this problem in the first place are now saying, trust us, we'll geoengineer you out of it again. And I just don't trust them. I just don't think that's true. I can't believe that governments that don't have the intelligence or the integrity to tell their own populations that there's a problem here with climate change. They haven't had the guts to address the issues around the Kyoto Protocol, even that, are actually going to have the integrity or the intelligence to geoengineer the planet in a safe way. It's simply ridiculous. Thank <laughs> you. 